this video because I feel defiant. Made a rinky-dink, tiny, tiny playlist on YouTube. One song, one video, I, um, and it perfect, perfectly encapsulates what I want to do, uh, particularly with East Prussia, with the Russians. I have to plan this out. Um, because most of it's not going to occur and uh, or be able to happen until January, um, but I, like I think I've said before, for both sides. Um, oh, sweet Jesus, jump in this song. Mm. Um, both sides know uh, at the opera at the at this level here that position is extremely important for January 1915. Because they're gonna, both sides are gonna entrench, and after that, it's gonna be like trying to slam your head against a brick wall. Um, oh man, and then there's that other lower level I'm already thinking about. There's been static areas here for ages, and I'm reading, you know, the trench warfare books, sorry, I'm sucking on loz lozenge. Um, so I'm tr I know in my mind there's an awful lot of. Um, uh, awareness going back and forth uh, uh, from the abstract to the real. The abstract of, you know, the other side is this um, inhuman brute and uh, the reality is not, that's not the case. Um, that being said, uh, remember, I don't know if, well, some of you guys may remember, but uh, the November massive attack, that's what it was going to be called kind of thing, or at least I was calling it that. It was, it was um, part of it was Operation Luther. Um, that was on this other level, you know what I mean? It wasn't like the, the whatever, um, I was like my little junior officer exam thing. <laughs> I'm going to fail miserably. Holy F, I'll be sent to the front lines pretty quick, I can tell you that much. Um, that being said, and when I was looking at now that uh, the, oh, I'm sorry, you can't see it, but my God, is this thing clean? Three trenches, done, done. We got one more to go. A ton of strength points. We're running out of time for the Germans. November massive attack. I was like, let's flip this on its head. And then I remembered um, uh, the song Angel by Massive Attack. I don't. And the video at the end, well, I'm not going to say if you haven't seen the video, but I went, you know what, this, this encapsulates perfectly what I want to do with the Russians. They've been on the ropes for so long and I'm going to, I so want to give it to the Germans, man. So want to give it to them. You have no idea. Um, so I'm going, well, I, like I said, I made this uh, micro playlist. I'm just going to play this song over it while it's playing out right now. I'll uh, just play it over and over and over again. It's just going to hammer into my head the vibe of give it to them. Oh, yeah. Love me, love me, love me, baby. Um, what are these things? Oh, I'm going to love you. Oh, we're going to love you. Um, these things are counter discrepancies. Oh, yeah, Mr. Meticulous here. Thank God I do triple whatever's. But my master book has discrepancies, so I'm going to have to go and take a look at my play-by-play. -play. That's how I'm going to, uh, I'll figure it out. The, the big scary one is this. Like, what the hell is this? This is a Russian troop behind it. It's cavalry, but a Cossack cavalry division behind enemy lines. There's no flipping way they, should, they are there, because there's no way these guys could have got there. So what the hell is going on here? Um... So, like I said, i got to figure this out. Oh, I, trust me, I'm going to play it in the narrative somehow. You have no flipping clip. Um, that being said, jeepers jumping, man. I was thinking out of myself, you know, okay, it's okay, Chris, you made some whatever. So I'm like, hey, wait a minute. This is real life. And uh, some general said to me, uh, excuse me, uh, whatever the hell I am, um, are you telling me you don't know exactly where uh, this unit is? Like this cavalry division? What the hell, man? This is like life and death type of stuff. Like this is important. So that's what I'm trying to like click into my head. It's like, holy F. Like, uh, yeah. So I can feel it. Um, yet again, I think I've alluded to this before. 
I'm getting to this point in this game anyways with um, uh, it's no longer a desire or boy wouldn't this be nice to have. It's becoming a necessity that I need to think Okay, let's talk about it in calendar terms rather than game terms. Because remember, in Dervelt Creek, um, there's seven turns per uh, month. So it, it gets a bit wonky with the turn kind of thing. So I'm getting to the point now where I would say it's no longer... Um, I have to worry about... Um, uh, this week or next week, I'm now I'm not I'm now starting to approach. Uh, have to start figuring out uh, what I want to have accomplished or what I need to see in play. Obviously, based on the variables of what the other side's going to do, um, I'm getting close to a month's worth, and uh, I'm also thinking later on. Well, holy f! If you, I want to get to the January 1915 stuff and start thinking about like bringing in all the other parts, all the other fronts, and have these all being integrated in this crazy ass machine going on. Um, I really have to obviously step up the game in thinking and think way ahead then. It's like, because, you know, oh my God damn, this is just so much. I was about to slam the table. I was like, Jesus Christ, don't do that. <laughs> I'd be right back to square one. But I can't tell you how much, um, uh, well, like I said, I hope to, I've said it before. I hope to God you guys are get, finding your own, oh my God, in life, uh, you know, uh, whatever aspect of uh, gets you off that way. Because this, uh, I was just actually staring at this thing several times because it was clean as well. I mean, I had taken all the dust off. And yes, I understand these, my counters are not as nice looking as the store-bought ones. But for me, I even said it in my head, I was like, God, this is a thing of beauty. It just is. I love the Dervel Creek maps now. Uh, uh, it's They're so beautiful. They just, I would just say, I don't care. It's not the truth, but I'm saying, let's say the Dervel Creek rules, everything else was the most disgusting thing on the planet for games. Um, this map is just so, my God, did he, um, it's like, I don't know, like, you know, it's just amazing. It's absolutely, it's, it's inspiring. I, it, almost uh, to the point of divine uh, inspiration is the way I'm looking at it. It's just incredible. Uh, it's one of those things where you, I look at it and I'm like, oh my God, it's so simple in the sense of what uh, Dave Schroeder decided to do. But on the flip side, no one else did it. Hello. And, um. He did, and it works unbelievably so, and it has so much potential, as far as I'm concerned, of this inherent. Um, it's in, inbuilt. As soon as you did the one, uh, as soon as you did each hex side to be, uh, um, uh, its own thing within its hex. Oh my God! I just was like, okay, this guy's got this amazing scale. Thing going on uh, here and we don't have to fiddle with it it's just there and you can uh, at least I can play with it from oh, god damn and like I said yet again uh, with the amount of work that went into the modules and the army lists and the background you can like I said you I could and I'll trash the living hell out of this thing from here to tomorrow it's not funny um, because it's not perfect for what I want. Oh, boo-hoo. Um, son of a bee, man. And I've said this before. If somebody said to me ahead of time, Chris, trust me, please trust me. Give me $10,000 and I'll give you the entire Dervelt Creek modules, uh, but you're going to have your mind blown like you have no clue. Um, I mean, like I said at the beginning, they would really have to trust me because I hadn't played the game yet. I'd be like, are you out of your flipping tree? But if they, like, if I did trust them, I'd, you know, be shaking like a leaf. Uh, but I've been in debt to that amount before. So I, I, you know what I mean? As in, I've gotten out of it again. So I'd be like, okay, I would. Uh, that's how much, um, but uh, I don't know, buyer beware, or whatever about anything uh, in the sense, um, you know, it, it's not a, this is just a, yeah, this. 
Oh. But, uh, and like I said, I'm just tasting, I'm just about to get into the Grand Campaign, which is uh, to me like this beautiful sweetheart of a, uh, it's weird. This game is in some ways I find, um, uh, it's not a sandbox, but I found, I find the breadth of what it, it uh, is covering and trying to do um, allows me to say, you know what, I purchased this game, I can do whatever the hell I want with this game, and it's now become my sandbox, thank you so flippin' much. And I'm going to use it as a, um, it's going to be the centerpiece, obviously, for what I'm doing, um, but, uh, you know, I'm going to uh, be adding on to it like there's no tomorrow. I guess it's kind of like somebody you see purchasing a, a car, and uh, our, what did they do? Oh, it's uh, what is the one of the most modified ones to see around here? The Honda Civic thingamajig, and um, um, so there you go. Uh, this to me is like the you know I shouldn't say that. I mean it's like a Lamborghini version of the Honda Civic or something. I don't know. I shouldn't even be talking about cars because I don't know anything about them. All right, that's it. Uh